Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you three awesome built-in services of Feedsy RSS feeds. And these are the Spintax support service, the rephrasing and paraphrasing service, and the automatic translation service. Apart from Spintax support, these are all available starting with our agency plan. So let's start with the Spintax support service. What this does is ensure your post originality by creating randomized content that displays different information every time someone opens an article. That might sound confusing, but it's really not. Let's see how easy it is to set up. I'm going to assume that you already have Feedsy installed in your WordPress dashboard. If you don't, then I'll leave a link in the description to a step-by-step -step guide that will teach you how to do that. The first step we need to take is to import some posts. For that, on the left-hand side, go to Feedsy and click on Import Posts. Now at the top, click on New Import. Let's give our new import a name. I'm just going to name it Tutorial. Next, we need to add an RSS feed. I already have one, so I'm just going to paste it in this field and click on the plus sign. If this is your first time importing a feed with Feedsy, there's a link in the description to an in-depth tutorial that you should definitely check out. Next, twirl down map content by simply clicking on it. This is where all the magic happens for all three of the services that I'm going to be talking about today. We'll be playing around with the post title and content. As you can see, at the moment, Feedsy will import all the posts with their original title. What we want is to change that and provide a customized experience and a more dynamic website. And for that, we are going to be using Spintax. In simple terms, Spintax means rotating words in existing material to create new content. So let's create a Spintax structure. I'm going to delete the item title by pressing the X button. And I'm going to start writing my own. To add a Spintax, we're going to be using curly brackets. So open curly bracket and let's add some options. Check out, see how, take a look at, and and curly bracket. These will be our options. Notice that they are separated by a vertical bar. Now let's add the original title back. For that, click on the insert tab button and choose item title. And let's add one more spin tax. I'm going to write for, open curly bracket, updated or interesting, close curly bracket, information. Our spin tax is now complete. Now, every time a user visits the website, the title of the post will be shown as follows. You will see one of the first three options, either check out, see how, or take a look at, then the original title, for, either updated or interesting, and information. Think of it as multiple choice. You'll get a random first option and a random second option to create the title. And the same can be done to the post content as well. Currently, it will just display the original content, but let's add a spin text to it. We could write something like, do you want to know or learn more? Then follow this link. The same principle applies here. The Spintax service will select one or the other to display in the blog post. Let's see how these actually look on the front end. To finish the import, just click on the save and activate importing button. The new import is now present in the list. Just make sure that the current status is green and click on the run now button. Once it's done importing, just refresh the page. As you can see, the posts have been successfully imported. Let's open the website and see how the Spintax service actually works. These are all the posts that have been imported and as you can see based on our Spintax, the service automatically chooses one of the options that we gave it. So we either have check out, see how or take a look at the original title of the post for and again another option, either updated or interesting and information. If I scroll down, you'll see that these change with each blog post. Let's open one of the posts. You see, we have the post content and the spin text that we added, which was either know or learn more. That's how you can easily set up a spin text. Now, let's take a look at the rephrasing service. This service is integrated with a plugin and it doesn't require another subscription other than Feedsy Pro Agency. Compared to the plugin integrations with Word AI and Spinner Chief, where you also need to get a dedicated subscription for each service to use it. The rephrasing service will allow you to automatically rephrase the article's content or title. And it's as easy as just adding a tag. I'll just remove the original post title by clicking the X button and insert a new tag. In our case, the Feedsy rewrite tag. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And in order to rewrite the content, remove the item content tag and add the content Feedsy rewrite tag or the full content rewrite tag. In order for you to get a better idea of what this does, I'm going to modify this a bit so you can see it before and after. I'll add the original title back add rewrite in capital letters so that we'll know that this is the start of the rewrite and then I'm going to add the Feedsy rewrite tag. Save the import, run it, refresh the page and let's see the front end. And here we have it, the original title first and then the Feedsy paraphrased version. 
and it will do the exact same thing for the post content as well. Lastly, we have the automatic translation service, which does exactly what it says on the box. It automatically translates your blog post into a specific language of your choosing. Just like before, we can translate the title by using the translated title tag, or translate the content by using the translated content, translated description, or translated full content tags. There is one more step that we need to take here. In the general feed settings section, we need to enable automatic translation and also choose the language in which we want the blog posts translated into. Once you've done so, your blog posts are now in the language that you chose. And that's it for this video. Hope you found it helpful. Make sure you leave a thumbs up and also subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. Thanks for watching and have a good one.